make some noise if you are happy to be Muslim. Now I want to start this performance off with a poem that is very important to me. This poem was not written by me, but by a man by the name of Langston Hughes, when he rest in peace. One of the most important poets to ever stand on American soil. Do you guys know who Langston Hughes is? Langston Hughes. What did you say? He's my brother. Oh, he's your brother. <laughs> Langston Hughes, may he rest in peace, was one of the most important poetic voices of the 20th century. The foremost poet of the Harlem Renaissance. Spent his formative years in the Midwest, in Lawrence, Kansas. And his poetry was able to encapsulate something so important and profound for us. And that is to remind us of the humanity that we all share with a few short verses. There's one poem in particular that I wanted to start this off with tonight that has always inspired me. It's called The Negro Speaks of Rivers. And in this poem, he reflects on these fresh water sources of life all over the world, of civilization, from Africa, from the Middle East, from here in America. And like I said, through that, he's been able to remind us of our shared humanity. And it goes like this. I've known rivers. I've known rivers ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood and human veins. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. I've bathed in the Euphrates when dawns were young. I built my hut near the Congo and it lulled me to sleep. I looked upon the Nile and raised the pyramids above it. I've heard the singing of the Mississippi when Abe Lincoln went down to New Orleans, and I've seen this muddy bosom turn all gold in the sunset. I've known rivers, ancient, dusty rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. Rest in peace, nice and news. We get that first chapter, please. He said,
labor schools. The line's plenty. Make some noise for yourselves, y'all. Let's try to find out. Can we get that second track, please? Thank you. 
out to Brother Ashir, who's being so, so gracious and hospitable. So that song, that poem, was about the city of Damascus. It's the city where my mother is from. It's a city that many say is the longest continuously inhabited city on planet Earth. Given that hip hop is this urban culture, more specifically the street culture, I always thought it was cool to be able to represent the oldest urban and street experiences in the world. And so I wrote a poem that was inspired by my experiences in Damascus when I was in college. I studied under an architect living in the old city. I studied architecture in college at the University of Virginia. An architect in the old city who was doing historic preservation in this ancient, ancient city. And I had the privilege of having conversations with people from many different walks of life as I spent time in this. And so I wrote this verse dedicated to one very special place in the old city that some say is perhaps the oldest street in the world. It's called Straight Street, or the street called Straight. It's referenced in the Bible not far from where St. Paul got his sight back on the road to Damascus, an ancient and beautiful, special place. And the poem goes like this. I took a stroll down a street called Straight, Met a medicine man about a third of the way. Predecessor to the butcher man with something to say about an apple a day keeping the sickness away. I valued his advice at face at first, till he enlightened me to how precisely nature works. Given us citrus fruits in wintertime for vitamin C to spread each other, but I'm already invited for tea, so kind of lots. Fate would have it here not tonight to be related. Small world's even smaller when you're ever in it. Make it a point to soak in all this information about regenerative meditations and preventative medication, like a modern Ibn Sina with a pretty calm demeanor, and a remedy for everything that plagued the ever nation. Get my to how to cope with that impossible fight. And just a follow little path to the street called Straight. Straight. And so I took a stroll down a street called Straight. Met a spiritual teacher about two thirds of the way. Predecessor to the preacher man with something to say about a prayer a day keeping the Satan's at bay. He spoke of angels on our shoulders and the angles of our solar systematic self destruction, metaphysical corruption, with the danger to our polar ice caps. So it's out of our control and in the hands of our beholder. We philosophize for over 20 minutes like that. Taught me lessons, any questions he would give him right back. Said the answers were within us, and I didn't like that. But I realized later why he did it like that. See, I had so much more to learn. The clock was ticking, couldn't stall. Committed his words to memory. His wisdom was in crawl. And yet when asked him, what was the most important to recall? He just said, follow the little path, straight street. And that is all. And so I took a stroll down a street called Straight. We met a carpenter, hard work at the end of the way. Predecessor to the architect was something to say about not doing tomorrow what should be finished. So he manipulated wood and metal to the follow function, building all through via rector and Carter Max in his junction. Something told me he was wise beyond his ears. I had a feeling from the way that he exposed the beams and ornamented ceilings with an ambidextrous half, nonchalantly just to laugh, saying that my Western education made of hard to grasp his connection to the past, deep rooted in his craft. What was more than willing to share will be these tools he knew I lacked, and for that I would be grateful. Learning how to build a monumental for the playful and the humble, for the faithful. Yet when asked of how we'd stack against some impossible odds, we just said, follow the middle path to straight straight to my God. Right. Yeah. How you guys doing tonight? Yeah. Make some noise for yourselves for coming out to support this event. Too. Yeah. This next track is called Destiny. Some of you might know it. I want you to help sing in the hook. I know not everybody's a singer, so act like you're in the shower and nobody else is here. Nobody will judge you. It's all good. You'll get it really easy. Who has heard the song before? Yeah. Can you hear me? We'll sing. Our labels, what we're blessed to be. Have I ever said that I'm afraid? As you have to give me the air. And when the wind wins, I'm shooting my hand. We're the Jabari and Rain, I'm a father fan. I'm a half and half, it's at the more. I've been a sub-bath and half and half. You don't have a black designer, I'll be in the camp. I'll be a half and a half, I'll be in the camp. 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 I'll be in the
There's also a little test stand at the beginning. Where are my files at? You see them when they start clapping here.
What's a funnel? Crazy as questions in comments. Yeah. High speed internet connections. What's an issue? High speed internet connections, not much room for self reflection. More consumed by a virus protection and physical well being. It's not too late to make corrections, but the problems that I'm seeing only get worse through Google Glass. So let's just pray this too shall pass like Y2K, but there's no way he as a species could sustain this. You'd rather text your wife than enjoy your life with her. That there was shame, the stock was cracking, vision blurring. How the hell is this okay? We're more concerned with getting likes and people liking us, but hey, look. I don't want to come off preachy, that right there was whack to me. See, I could point one finger at you, the other three point back at me. Along with thousands of employees at the Foxconn factory. Back in China, we were addicted to digital crack as miners. And so I suppose that were the final generation who can ponder this. Acceleration towards the matrix, sabotage are ominous. Yet, common is common is common, a common is slum and poor. When the time cometh to disconnect, I hope you know what to do, brother. Disconnect. A subject that we don't like to talk about often, but that is perhaps the realest subject of all, is our own mortality. Death is something we will all face. That is the only guarantee. And that's why it's stressed over and over again that we have to make the most of our time, especially of our youth. It is so incredibly important. Now, speaking from my own personal experience, I had to face death at a very early age. I lost my father to life when I was 12 years old. Now, I pray that never happens to me. It may have happened. Now, a lot of you strengthen your family's strength. But I'm only bringing this up because I want us all to understand that it is right around the corner. So we have to make every second count. Pray every prayer like it's our last prayer. You don't just say that. Understand it. I know it's easy to forget. But it can go just like that. Now, in this next song here, I'm going to be saying something that I'd like you to repeat. And I think it's something you guys have all heard. What do you say when somebody's passed? Allah. And you say, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajim. So, Allah, we belong to Him, we shall return. Allah. The Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end, the natural order of things, the one from whom all light and truth springs, Allah. As Muslims, Allah to us is a much bigger, more abstract concept than a man in the sky with a beard waving his hand. Stuff. Allah, that's not what it is. Much bigger and more dynamic, encompassing all the mercy of this world, all the compassion of this world. And so it's a comforting thing to know that that is what we can expect, inshallah, if we have the right intentions. In that 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 in Close my eyes. The world is black and 
There's perhaps one article written about it by a man by the name of Robert Fish, and that was it. And so Syria has internalized that fear for generations. So much so that thousands of miles away here in America, you see him still whispering the name of Assad as though he was some monster lurking around the country. Now, the situation in Syria has only gotten worse. Sad. When people rose up for their freedom, they were met with bullets and bombs and tanks. And now it's just a complete disaster, beyond comprehension. We all have to continue to make du'a for the innocent people who pass away every single day in Syria. And now, in Gaza. We also have to understand that as Americans, sadly, our tax dollars contribute to a lot of that. And we also have to understand that we're part of a community here now. And that when a child is killed in Ferguson, in Chicago, or in Los Angeles, it should matter to us just as much. It has to matter to us just as much. If we want other people to care about our people, we have to be willing to do the same for them. It's that simple. تشرح بالفعل وبيفرح الفاعل، ترك الصحة وهرب على الساحل ليسبح ويمرح بس غرق من الآخر. أنا إنسان حريته، أمل ونيته، اعتقال بحري، انشغال عقلي، احتلال فكري، انفصال فقري، فوق النخل شاف شمس صباح فخري، خمرة الحب كن حزب من شربة، يا من الناس راحوا من وين من تجربته، إن كان حب إنساني أو وطني، اصحى نصيحتي يا أخي، صبرك. لا تنسى دير بالك على اهلك، ضل ماشي على مهلك، الغان وبنادق بين بيتك وقبرك، كل كذب الدنيا، الشاشة بتخبرك، الكلام مش سليم بس. الله كريم. الله كريم.
Christianity, fuck the females, the details. You about to lose a million times only to return like a golden king.
Niggas on the hook, knocks on the hook. Nigga black tools, nigga black tools, nigga black tools, bombs in the sky. I'm about to get it, no, I'm out of that one, bro. I'm just fine, bro. For the current prize, I'm just a little bit of a pressure, but I'm not. I'm not going to get it, but I'm not going to get it. I'm just a little bit of a problem. 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 I'm just a
Genesis has never started to preach. I pray my people take these words as a call to the conscious. So he is now the bottleneck of all our weakness conflicts. She has Sunday, Turkish, Kurdish, religious, and secular. Imperialistic, can't exist the levels that are molecular. 99% of all that is empty space. All up is real, except the stars and smiles on a child's face. Just let him hear. Ego society, sing the tip of that. While I can just get on Victor Bishop, be a lad. Not to mention, it's most crazy for that. She took advantage of all over the planet. Granted, still a small percentage of this habit was just a save, causing damage to the revolution, punishing his name. Not to mention, publicizing all this mercy and compassion. Bad in people left the white, but I'm following their fashions. It's tragic. So many fingers in the pot. Cooking is fatal effect. But a race is that resilient. Can't even fix a simple metal. The disgrace. Say it with you, crying shame. Crying shame the way the world is crying. And hoping they believe the reason for my terror. Better rip my murder and rip the peace. But crying shame, say it with me, crying shame. Crying shame, say it with me, crying shame. Crying shame the way the world is crying. Hoping they believe the eradicating the populations while the world was sleeping. You see, it all comes down to choices. And most Syrians have none left. That's why a former business owner has to resort to gun theft. That's why a little girl named Shims may never see the sunset. That's why I can't help but feel guilt when I see a plate of Mensa. Hmm. I said, I pray my people take these words as a call to the conscience. So he is now the bottleneck of all our region's conflicts. She has Sunday, Turkish, Kurdish, religious, and secular, imperialist, and anti distant levels that are molecular. 99% of all matter is empty space. So nothing is real except the scars and smiles on a child's face. Just let them heal. Put your egos aside. This is not a tit for tat. While the opposition kept on bickering, should be half. Not to mention those crazy fanatics who took advantage from all over the planet. Granted, it's still a small percentage of the habit. But just the same, they're causing damage to the revolution, tarnishing its name. Not to mention Allah's name and all his mercy and compassion. The heavy people left and right for not following their fashions. So many fingers in the pot, cooking this fatal effect that let a waste to average Syrian can even taste a sip of medicine. A disgrace, the fact that it got this far. The fact that there's people on this earth who still say, hey, this was not Bashar's fault. And guarded this cult of personality with a culture of fatality. At this point, refugees have asked the war and factions to please just all halt. But the reply is nothing more than what a Turk would call salt. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my French. I'm here on behalf of a message besides you, group, and not to throw a lunch in anyone's well intentioned plans of having an orphan's thirst crunch. Please don't keep your fists clenched. Open up your hearts. Open up your purse. And open up your checkbooks. And remember this holy verse. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa man faqtum min nafaqatin awin alaytum 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 if you guys have the time to donate, if you have the opportunity to donate, please do. There's a lot of organizations. We're doing so much good for the Syrian people who need our help. For the Palestinian people who need our help. For the people of Ferguson who need our help. For the people of Chicago who need our help. Like I said, if we want people to care about our struggles halfway across the world, we have to show them that we care about theirs here at home. It's only right. Thank you all so much for having me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.